Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie and I love filming shopping videos in the Orlando area. I'm obsessed with seasonal decor, home decor. I love shopping and showing you how I decorate my own spaces. So if you love home decor, seasonal decor, getting home decor inspiration and ideas, DIYs, you're definitely gonna love it here. So please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be kind of a collection of shopping at a lot of different stores over several different days. And then at the end, there's gonna be a big haul. I am in the process of shopping for our master bedroom and bathroom transformation that you will be seeing really shortly after you see this video. So please get excited, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I also wanted to let you guys know about my new goal. I was thinking on my birthday about goals. Thank you, by the way, to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. But on my birthday, I was thinking about goals, and when I blew out my candles, my wish is to have 50,000 subscribers by Christmas. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Help me get to 50K by Christmas. There will be an amazing giveaway to come out of hitting that major, major goal. So share with your friends, hit the subscribe button, and let's get to 50K by Christmas. But like I was saying, I am shopping for our master bedroom and bathroom transformation lots of things are gonna be going into this I ordered furniture we're gonna be doing some awesome DIYs in that video so today I have a list it is a quite lengthy list of items that I need to find and source to be able to do this transformation so that's why it's gonna be a collection of days that this is filmed over because it's unrealistic for me to think that I'll be able to find everything in one day at one store on one shopping trip so this will be a collection of shopping at a lot of different stores but first we're gonna be starting at home goods so we're gonna go over the list I'm gonna kind of show it to you like right when we get inside just kind of what is generally on it so you'll know kind of what we're looking for and we're gonna try to check off all those things together and like I said at the end there is going to be a big haul of everything I pick up so if you're excited to see what I'm picking up for our master bedroom and bathroom transformation then just keep watching because we're gonna head inside to the first store right now okay so here is the list actually really pleased to see they got a bunch of new tall mirrors I like this one a lot but I'm gonna look through and see what else they have I like how it's actually wood with the black stripe it's pretty perfect but i think i wanted one that was like a little bit like thinner on the frame but i don't know that's definitely a good contender it is a great size too but i'm not sure yet they still have the rounded one that i loved so much so that makes me like so sad because i just love it it's perfect i love like the thin gold frame this is like the look i was kind of more going for so i'm not gonna like settle on one just to get one but i do have to pick one really soon but yeah we're just gonna kind of like look through these see what they have and hopefully check a lot of things off the list i always have this theory that you should never buy a mirror you don't feel like you look good in this one's okay like it's fine but i do really think i want a much thinner frame like something that's more modern so i'm gonna pass on this one and just kind of keep my options open Another item on the list is bedside lamps. I was thinking I was gonna lean towards black and luckily the store has them like categorized by color so that's super helpful. I also like the ones that have plugs on the bottom so I'll be looking for something like that because that is really helpful as well. I do like that one, like how sleek it is and I do like the white lampshade but I think I'm gonna go actually for something more linen-y because it's gonna be right next to our bed and our bed is like a really light linen color not a pure white and I don't want them to be so off I do like these black ones but they are too tall something like this could be really pretty as well like a clear that has this like light gold at the bottom those are nice but it is like a stark white lampshade again. Something like this might be cool. It does have more of a linen colored lampshade. It's still clear with the black though, and that would tie in some of the other elements of the room. Not a bad price on these either. They're only $50 a piece. And then I like these black ones, how they have the like matte and the shiny with a little bit of gold. The lampshade is not a stark white. It's more of like an ivory color. These ones are $70 a piece, but I think these ones might be too, like, big. Like, I don't want it to take up too much room on the nightstand. Okay, so also on here are, like, picture frames, accent decor for shelves, fake plant curtain rod curtains. So we're kind of just making our way through the store. 
We are over at the picture frames. I have one picture frame that's about like this size. I think I want one that's a little bit smaller, but I do love these ones that are like, they look like bamboo almost, like the gold ones. So I'm gonna kinda like sift through here, maybe pick out like one or two more small ones for like different shelves that we're going to be hanging as well as like just on surfaces. I'd like to have more pictures of us and the dogs and stuff just in our space. They have these really cool wooden ones here as well. All a really, really good price. Ooh, look at that one. This one is like, kind of looks like different like tiles, different sections, that's fun. They just have so many good options for picture frames. These like black ones, these simple black ones that are like two pictures are really nice too. So I actually think I might pick up one of those. And then I want to hold out for the small size of the gold one. But they have like lots of really simple, nice gold ones as well. I definitely want to hang curtains. I don't know, I just feel like it will make the space feel more cozy. So I've been looking at the curtain rods. They are, it's like very slim pickings for curtain rods. I feel like they definitely go through phases where they have like tons. And then sometimes they don't have a lot. And right now they don't have like too many. This is the one I like the most out of all of them. Just because it's like the most simple. But I I think I would rather have like just I don't know something that's not shaped like that at the top maybe just like a ball just something really really simple but even if I don't find a curtain rod today I can definitely still look for some curtain panels I'm thinking something like this because it will match the bed really really well these are 96 inches long and I should have measured <laughs> But I can text Brian. He can measure for me really quick just to see how tall. I honestly want them more for decoration than for anything. These ones are room darkening and you do get both for $40. So it's not a bad deal, but I do like the color on this one a lot. These ones are really cool too. You can see they have like these tassels up at the top. They're these that hold it onto the bar, which is really, really nice. I haven't seen anything like that before. I don't necessarily like like the gemstones, but if those were like leather poles, how cool would that be? Okay, I found like another option of it. These are like so light and airy and pretty. And then they have these like taupey colored leather poles at the bottom. So we're definitely getting closer, but I would want like cognac colored poles. How cool would that be? I found more curtain rods. I really like this one, just like a really, really simple ball. $16.99, it's extendable, goes out to be as big as I need it to be. So this might be a winner. Okay, I did find these curtain panels, which I like. They come from like the back, so I think those would be nice. They are on clearance, just happen to be on clearance. They're Ralph Lauren, 96 centimeters each or 96 inches which is eight feet which i think is perfect but you get both panels for 22 dollars not like a hundred percent sold on them but i like them so i'm gonna carry them for now okay so originally i thought i wanted to do an all white shower curtain but i just found this one and i feel like it may go really really well if I did like white or ivory bath mats with something like this. I don't know why I feel so drawn to this, but it is just gorgeous. Something like this would be good too because it does have some gray and there are some gray and silver accents in the bathroom that unfortunately because we're renting, I can't change. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I do feel like I could tie this in so well. Like it would definitely be a huge statement. But I feel like, I feel like I could make it work. Brian might hate it, but he's not here to decide, so. <laughs> and plus it's a shower curtain, like we could always change it, like super, super easy. Originally I was kind of considering like maybe something textured, but like a lot more neutral. Oh my gosh, but like, I don't know, I don't know. Found some black curtain hooks. So check on that. So just need a shower liner, but like, why do they have so many options? Like, I don't, 
why like why okay i did pick some bath mats or just these really simple ones they are a brand so they're a little bit pricier but right now we just have one big one in front of the sink and i think it'd be a lot nicer if we each had our own and we do have a white florally textured opal house one already in front of the shower and i feel like if i decide to keep that one like if i agree with myself to keep that one that i can kind of like offset the cost and i want to do like bright accents if i'm going to do a dark curtain if that makes sense okay kind of picking out like little accents trying to like piece it together <sighs> I'm like so on the fence about this but it can be changed if I don't like it and it's time for me to like experiment with color and stuff but I like these soap dispensers I feel like if I get some clear soap they would be very nice I like these jars I think they would look good on some shelving I'm planning on putting in the bathroom and I could get like q-tips and cotton buds to put in these I think that would look really really cute but yeah, I like how simple these are. These are $12.99 a piece. I also like these. It's kind of like slim pickings, but I don't know. These caught my eye and I really like them. I did also love this soap dispenser from Threshold though. So I'm kind of going back and forth, but there are lots of other things on the list. So we're gonna contemplate and then keep going. Look at this blanket ladder that they have. They have two, one that is like rounded at the top and then the other one that's not. I really like it, the gold color though is like that obnoxious like yellowy gold instead of like a nice champagne colored gold. But these are really cool. They are $40 a piece. Look what they have. The small pumpkin in white with gold. <gasps> I'm in love. This is $5.99. I'm trying not to buy anything I don't need. They also have the smaller one with the taupe. And then over here, down here, they have it in black, in all the different sizes, matte black, and in like gourd shapes. Look at like the one in the back. Wow. Okay, so over in the decor section now, but I just found this little box. It just has a little tab here that opens like this, and I feel like it would be perfect for Brian's dude wipes like to put on the back of the toilet. I'm thinking that he'll think it's really annoying to have to like open a box to Get to the wipes But I really really like this. I could also put like a Like a room spray or something in here. This is $25. Okay over in decor now and Trying to balance like not making the shelves that we're gonna put above the bed That's a dead giveaway too heavy because it scares me that they would potentially like fall i don't know they probably won't i'm sure that there's like a weight limit but it's hard because like i want to style the shelves and like make them look really pretty but like i'm definitely afraid that they'll fall so I'm trying to just look for some accent decor that's like pretty light because it's all going to add up like all the different things on there like the weight of them is going to add up i just found this little box it's going to be really really hard for me to show you move this over so if you take this little peg out this slides over and this comes off and it's like a little hidden box how adorable is that oh my gosh i can't even get it back together with one hand how freaking cute is that for ten dollars i really really like it they have these bowls i really like this size this one is like way 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 bigger the gold one but i want the gold one in this size this one is $16.99 i think it would look really pretty with the um ceramic beads like draped out of it that's my idea but i really want the gold one and i don't really want to like spray paint it i just want to like find the gold one and they do have like a bunch they have one there there's also one there one right here this is actually more of like a bronzy color and then another one of the golden right there, but none of the small gold one. Go figure, right? <laughs> Over in the basket section, I found this, which is like kind of like a flat rectangular tray. I was wanting to do a bed table tray, but I have to be realistic when I think about making my bed every day. And on here, I would just put um, like a candle and a fake plant. So I feel like this is like the perfect size and this is $10, but I'm thinking it might be a little bit too small because we have a king size bed. So this might look too small compared to that. Just checking out what they have right now for like neutral throw pillows. I found this one, super plain, but I like the tassels and it has a good 
chop factor, if you didn't know about the pillow chop. Brian hates it, but I don't know. It's a thing, I guess. But I really like this one. I just don't see another one. So I don't want to pick one up unless I can get a set. Another day, another home goods, and my camera is fogged because it is literally so humid. Look at this mirror. This is epic. It's literally massive. I swear, it's like... Oh, it's 80 inches in diameter. It's literally huge. Look at what I found. The panels with black. Okay. I'm pretty sure I love those. They also have these smaller drapery rods that are 26 to 48 inches, which I think are perfect. They're only $10 too, so they're like such a good price. But it has made it blatantly clear that I need to go home and measure the width of the window and then also how long I want the curtains to be because I don't want to get my heart set on a curtain if I if it's going to be too long. So I need to go home and measure that before I buy anything like this. Heading into Marshalls, a new day again. I had to spread the shopping out, but I have just a few things left on my list and I'm really hoping we can get it all today. Here is a wooden like candle holder. I'm gonna be using these a lot just to like add height to different places. They have this one. I do need more wood items. I feel like I have like lots of gold and like a good amount of black, but I just need more like wood items to balance it out. I like this really, really simple print and it is $12.99. The one item I've had an extremely hard time finding was a King sheet set in the color. <laughs> I finally found it. I've literally gone to a million stores looking for not white, but like not taupe or brown sheets. And I finally found the perfect set. It was also difficult because we have a king size bed and I wanted it to be a really high thread count. And I found the exact one I was hoping to find in King, 1400 thread count for $40, which is literally a steal. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and HomeGoods are definitely the best place to shop for sheets because you can get really high thread counts for super, super cheap. They have so many different like colors, brands, thread counts. This is my recommendation. I think this is the end of the road. I'm hoping I can find the rest of the stuff I want in my favorite store, Target. Picking out a new throw for the bed. I want something that's like really, really like cozy looking and I want something a bit brighter. Here is a preview of the throw pillow sitch. But yeah, these are some of the items that I'm picking out. I'm just carving away at my list. Where is it? All right, so this is the stuff that I still need. So carving away. This is another one I am considering. It's a lot bigger. I was wanting like a really, really big one. So I'm thinking about this, but I wanna check out what they have over in like the threshold bedding section. The reviews are okay for this. I just don't like, I don't know the Casa Luna stuff. I'm like so drawn to it, like especially that. But the reviews for so much of the stuff are so bad. Here is another one I was considering. It is kind of like ruffled looking. So I kind of liked that, but I think I want more of like the knit look and not like the micro plush look. But a lot of you probably know, these are my favorite blankets in the whole wide world. Cause you can get like the king size one and on Black Friday, they're such a good deal. So wait until then, but I'm gonna be getting a lot of these on Black Friday. So here at Target, they have this thing where you can like mix and match lampshades and bases. So I'm kind of just like perusing with this idea, but I don't know. There's none that I like really, really love. I do like these ones. I feel like they look like ones similar to ones that I saw at Home Goods, but these are a lot smaller. I don't want anything like too, too big, you know? So this is what this one would look like. Ugh, I don't know, like, I don't think a lamp is gonna like make or break the room, but I just don't know if this is it. Here was another lamp I was considering. This one's like already comes together. But like I'm scared that maybe it's like too gold. I also like the one that's next to it. It looks like these like little like gold and clear jars. <laughs> I don't know. Whew, at this point I have literally shopped until I dropped. I do have some good news and some bad news. My car is full. I've been shopping for two weeks. 
so many items to show you that it's actually going to be its own video so the bad news is the haul is not going to be in this video but it is actually coming tomorrow so that is the good news i just got so many items this makeover is just so like detailed and there's so much that went into it and I just like want to be able to actually show you everything and talk you through it and kind of tell you my ideas so that when my vision comes to life you can kind of see what the planning phases looked like for me so I'm really sorry the haul is coming tomorrow I promise it will be worth the wait but thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a big thumbs up so I can get to 50,000 subscribers by Christmas 50k by Christmas guys that's the goal 50k by Christmas it's all I want for Christmas so please hit the subscribe button if you often and find yourself watching my videos and have not subscribed yet i promise it is worth it and thank you in advance to everyone that does join our little corner of the internet and our youtube family i will be back tomorrow hauling all of the items i have bought over the last two weeks it's going to be most of the items that i will be using to transform our master bedroom and bathroom some i'm ordering online and things like that and some little details i'm going to save to surprise you with the big reveal but i'm really excited for the haul and i hope you are too so i'm gonna go i have to go home and haul everything now. I will see you next time. Bye guys!